Hey, I'm Alex, and today I want to take a minute to show you how you can go ahead and render reflection passes from within Nuke. Um, so normally, right, most of the time you're going to be using Scanline Render, but Scanline Render can't produce reflection passes as far as I know. So you have an alternative. You always have the Ray Render, right? And the Ray Render has a shader called uh, Reflection. So if, if you go ahead and let's say in my setup here I have uh, a camera pointed at a card and I want that to be reflecting this um, th this uh, gradient that I have here, the color wheel, right? So if I go ahead and uh, just run that through, no nothing's going to happen because of course it doesn't have the properties of reflection. So that's where the reflection material comes in. All right, so you can just you know bring bring that in normally as you always would. Um, so I'm I'm reusing the card and I'm also rendering through the scanline render because I've I've attached uh, just a checkerboard texture to that card. So if you look at the scanline render output, right, then we have of course just our card. But what happens if we want to render something that's outside the field of view of the camera, right? Where, is, where, where that comes in. So uh, if we render that through the ray render, applying the material of the reflection, then you know we get just the reflection, right? Because it, it basically ignores the, the upstream texture that we've connected. And it's just being overridden by, by the apply material along with the reflection node. So we get that output, and then this is going to be the reflection out. This is going to be the beauty out. And then you can just plus them together or, or treat it however you see fit. So I figured I'd share this with you as, uh, yeah, it's just something that's really helpful to have. And uh, yeah, hopefully it helps you out. Bye.